In this video, I'm going to show you this really awesome smooth zoom transition, and that is right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into it. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rocker Films, and yes, in today's video, we're talking all about this really awesome smooth zoom transition, and we're going to do that inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you need to drop two videos onto your timeline. So I'm gonna drop these two videos in, and as you can see, we've got one clip of me doing a backflip, and the other clip is just of Big Ben or Elizabeth Tower behind some scaffolding. So, I'm gonna find a point in the first video clip that I want to use, so I'm gonna start at the beginning of the backflip, and I'm gonna end at the end of the backflip. So we'll cut there. If you wanna load up the razor tool, by the way, to make the cut, you just have to press C on the keyboard, and if you want to load up the normal cursor again, then you just press V. So C will bring up the razor tool, V will bring up your normal cursor. So make the cuts with the razor tool and then press V to get rid of the first and the third video. That is the beginning and the end of that backflip. Now we'll just drag that to the very beginning. We'll go to the second video clip on the timeline and we'll just create a cut at the beginning. We'll cut the end of that and we'll just drag these two clips together. Now essentially we want to zoom from this clip at this point into this shot here. So, in order to do that, you just want to scroll to the very end of the clip that is here and go back maybe five or six keyframes. One, two, three, four, five. Create a brand new keyframe on scale and position. Go all the way to the very end and then go back on yourself one keyframe. Now we'll increase the scale all the way up to something silly like 600% and we'll move the position of this over to the center. Cool, that looks really nice. So at the end of that clip, we've got this smooth zoom in. And if you wanted to make this movement a bit more natural rather than quite aggressive, we can do that by adding some animation styles to our keyframes. So we're gonna select all of those keyframes that we just created. We're gonna right click. We'll go to temporal interpolation and select ease in. Now Premiere Pro is going to accelerate into that movement rather than going from no movement to aggressive zooming. It is a little bit too fast for my liking though, so I'm just gonna pull these first two keyframes over to the left a touch. And there we go, that looks really cool. Now I'm gonna select all of those keyframes and I'm gonna move these right step keyframes over to the very end of the clip. And as you can see, we've got this really cool zooming effect. Now, we'll go to pan two, that is the second video clip. We'll go one, two, three, four, roughly five keyframes to the right and create a brand new keyframe on scale and position. Now we'll go all the way back to the very beginning. We'll pull the scale down to around 70%. And if we play these two clips back to back, you can see we've got this zooming effect happening. But unfortunately, because we've zoomed out on the second video clip, we've got this black border around the video. So in order to get rid of that, we're just going to pull the video up onto video layer two, hold option on the keyboard, select that video, and we just drag that down to video layer one to make a copy. Now, remove the keyframes from that video clip, so press the stopwatch icon, press OK, press this stopwatch icon, press OK. We'll increase the scale back up to 100%, go into effects, search for blur, and we're gonna drop fast blur on to that bottom video clip. Now we'll select repeat edge pixels and we'll increase the blurriness and that looks really good. So if we play that back we've got this zooming effect happening. Of course we can still see the edges of this video but don't worry about that too much for now. So the end of the first clip zooms in, the start of the second clip zooms in and I think this needs to move a little bit faster on the first clip so I'm just going to pull these keyframes a bit closer together now that looks really nice. So from here, I'm just gonna nest the two video clips on the right, so I'm gonna select both of those video clips, right click, go up to nest, and then we can rename this to video two or transition out. Cool, so that has now turned into one video clip, meaning we can animate and manipulate this effect a lot easier. So I'm just gonna pull this up to video layer two, I'm gonna pull it over to the left a touch, so it's gonna overlap by three keyframes, and then I'm just gonna add a new keyframe on opacity on 100%. We'll go to the beginning and pull this down to zero. Now when we play this back, that looks a lot 
better. So from here, I'm just going to select both of those videos. We'll right click and we'll press nest. We'll nest this into a transition composition. Now from here, you want to go to the effects tab and you want to search for blur. So go into the effects tab, search for blur and directional blur should appear in the blur and sharpen tab. So drop directional blur onto the video. We'll scroll through to the point where we're halfway through the transition. We'll increase the blur length up to around, let's go to 100% and we can change the direction if we want to, but I'm going to keep this at 0%. Now we'll turn directional blur off. We'll scroll through to the very beginning of the movement. So that is around here. Grab brand new keyframe and blur length and pull this down to zero. We'll scroll through to the end of the movement. So that was roughly around here. Create a brand new keyframe. And then we'll go halfway through there. So we're about one, two, three keyframes to the right of the first keyframe. And we'll pull the blur length up to 100%. So in order to see that, we just want to turn the direction of blur back on. And as you can see, if we play this back, We've got this really awesome zoom blur transition happening. However, this is a little bit aggressive. So we want to pull the second keyframe blur length down to a much smaller number. So let's go to around 18%. And if we watch that back, that is a lot nicer. Of course, though, we kind of finished this transition a bit too aggressively. So I'm going to go back into the transition nest. I'm going to double click that. We'll go into transition out. And then at the end of this movement here, I'm going to create a brand new keyframe, three keyframes to the right, and I'm going to zoom in a touch. And then we'll go three or four keyframes to the right and we'll pull this back down to 100. And that's going to add this bouncing effect to the zoom. Now that needs to be a little bit quicker. So we'll just close up the gap between those keyframes. So there you go, that is how you do the zoom blur transition right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video, and of course, I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.